Hi and welcome to another whattabletpc.com review of Android Honeycomb. Uh, this uh, version running here of Android is actually Android 3.2.1 uh, uh, running on a Asus Transformer Prime tablet PC. What I'm going to do today is just give you a quick run over the controls for Android Honeycomb and also just sort of show you around a little bit more. So first up, actually, one thing I didn't mention in the previous video was the, uh, the ability to reorientate the screen just by swinging it around. So as you'll see, the screen just swings around and reorientates the content on the screen just by moving the tablet around. In terms of actual navigation, you've got a few different ways of getting around. So you can quickly just tap on something to select it. This has taken us into the YouTube application. You've got the, uh, let's take, press the back button to go back there. Similarly, you can tap on another app to go into a browser, etc. Let's uh, run ourselves back again. You've also got an opportunity to do a long press. So uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to get some widgets set up. If I pull a widget over here, we're now in this screen. If you decide that you actually want to pull this widget and actually delete it, you just hold it down and drop it into the uh, the remove trash can. So that's a long press, which basically means to drag and drop, uh, which means as soon as you press on the um, application, it gets held and then can get moved, and when you release, it gets dropped back into its location. Now you've also got pinching. What I'll do is I'll jump to the gallery application here. So we've got a few kind of stock images that were provided with this uh, this tablet. And I'll just show you, you've got a pinch where you move your two fingers back and forth. And you can zoom in and zoom out. If I zoom in, you can then zoom in on very specific areas of a photo. And obviously the limitations with that are just around the resolution of the photo. But it's good, particularly around um, images of people when you really want to zoom into someone's face. Um, similarly, we also have what is kind of referred to as flipping. So this allows you to uh, flip between images um, or on between home screens, this sort of stuff. And that's just a quick swipe across the screen, left or right, etc. Now the other thing that you can do to control the, the tablet is inputting. So let's come out of the um, gallery application. And what I'm going to look at here is a Google search. You get the um, stock Android keyboard coming up here. So if I search on Asus Transformer. You can see already it's starting to give me some suggestions for where I can go and you click on it and straight away it's going to take you into a browser that will direct you to a Google search on that. Now whilst you're doing that there's also the option to do something called um, copy and paste. So uh, what we can do first of all is select certain words. So let's, um, let's start a new search. Just go for some Football results. I'm typing the whole thing in here so that I can show you how the copy and paste works. Say you decided actually I don't want that. I mean, usually you'd use copy and paste and select um, probably more in emails or in word processing, but this kind of shows you. So you can click on a uh, word, you get two kind of um, symbols here which allow you to stretch and a little bit of a kind of uh, magnifying glass to pick out the exact letters you want to. Uh, select um, and now you've got a few different options here where you can cut those letters, you can um, copy those, paste them etc. Let's say I've changed my mind and I actually want uh, rugby results. Let's select football there. Let's cut that out and we've just got results here but we're at the front here so um, let's, let's just retype there. Okay, and again, it's suggesting some uh, some options there. I'm just going to go and search on that. So that quickly shows you how can, you can do a kind of copy, paste, and select type function. You may have noticed actually while I was doing that, there's a few other options on it. Let's go back into that um, where you have you can select all. So of course, select everything that uh, is in the typing there. Um, cut. I mentioned copy, paste. If you want to paste in something you've already copied to a clipboard. Similarly, you can search directly from this kind of control here. And you've got options to share as well. If you wanted to share something directly through email, Gmail, 
Google Plus, etc. You can jump quickly into those things. And there's a few other um, search settings, etc., that you can help to kind of configure your search. But we won't go into too much detail on those. So those are the kind of controls that you've got at your disposal with um, with Android Honeycomb. Um, other sort of options, if you're quickly trying to get around the tablet, what I'm going to show you here. Oops, let's postpone that. We've got a firmware update coming through. If I jump to the apps here, we've got a file manager. Now on this file manager, you can quickly access documents that are on your uh, tablet PC. And if you've got a um, micro SD card slotted in, if there's a micro SD slot on your tablet, this will show up on here. And similarly, um, things like a SD card or a, a USB stick etc will show up on here we've just got internal storage currently on this here you can quickly jump to things like pictures uh, camera music any sort of files associated with those downloads haven't got any downloads yet on this one and then you've got your um, files here that are in the internal storage let's jump to the music again you can quickly see what you've got here and from there you can do certain things like uh, select a file and it'll jump to that we won't uh, go through that process let's back out of that. You can select all. You then have some options again to copy, cut, delete, deselect all. Um, various other different uh, bits and pieces you can do on that but it's a way of quickly managing your files. So that's it in terms of getting around your uh, tablet PC. I'm just going to show you a few of the other um, applications that are available on here. First up the web browser. We've kind of seen this already but let's have a quick look at um, how that works. It's all pretty fast, easy to get into. This is a BBC website accessed over email, sorry, over Wi-Fi. So it's all very quick to um, load up. You've got a tab browser on this uh, tablet here, uh, which is the kind of stock browser. But um, so as you can see, you just open another um, tab and jump to, let's say, another website like Yahoo but you can quickly jump then between the tabs and whoops just uh, taking a while to load up there um, it's all very very straightforward so coming out of the browser I mean there's a few other functions of course the browser like favorites etc but I won't go into too much detail in this video on those jumping to the YouTube application here you can search YouTube you've got a, a kind of interface where you can quickly uh, click on a, a video um, and quickly look at uh, just have a bit of a browse find your way around and um, there's kind of a browse function here we can get different categories etc and uh, the YouTube videos play pretty smoothly let's pick out something you can see what I mean uh, very very simply let's just pick something here you've got some information in terms of the actual description of the video, related videos, comments etc. As you can see this video is just buffering and then it's playing. You can increase the size of the video to the full screen. Let's uh, jump off that now. But you can see what I mean. Um, if I come out of the YouTube app, let's see what else we've got here. I'm going to jump to the home screen. I'll cover the camera in a separate um, update. Got a gallery app here. Um, I've got a couple of pictures I've taken from the camera on the, the tablet. You've also got your um, direct pictures here, which are kind of you know, the generic pictures I showed you earlier on. That's all fairly straightforward. You can actually select to only show images or show the images and the videos. Um, so I've just quickly, I've only got one video there. It's just a short video. I won't go into that too much. We'll go for images and videos. And you can quickly just select things. I've got a few screenshots that I was taking earlier on. Uh, again, you've got the issue where you can kind of zoom in and zoom out, etc. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. And uh, there's various different options around this and how you actually view uh, each, of the, um, each of the galleries. Now, we've got a couple of other apps here that are kind of ASUS-specific, like the Supernote um, application. This is a music application with Android. Very nice interface, very smooth, just pick a few things. These are some stock um, music uh, that was included with the tablet. Very straightforward, you're just tapping on to um, different icons to get it to play. And it's just very simple inter interface, allowing you to rewind, fast forward, um, play the album, etc. So it's all fairly straightforward. I've actually got this sound turned off currently so I could do the review, so we won't come too much into that. Android Market. 
This is where you can um, buy apps, books and movies. Again, very simple to navigate and find your way around. If you're jumping into the apps directly, uh, we can pick all kinds of things. There's a few kind of featured apps. You can jump straight to games and pick out the things that you're kind of interested in. If you jump onto one of the games, it gives you a bit more information, some screenshots, etc. Very straightforward to jump to. Let's back out of that. Now you've got also this kind of uh, featured top paid apps, top free apps, top grossing apps, just by flicking through the screens, top new paid apps, top new free apps. If we go back, similarly, we can actually get right back and can have a look at some of the um, ebooks that are available. Again, similar sort of um, situation, we've got featured books, we've got new arrivals in fiction, we've got new arrivals in non-fiction, top selling, top rated, top free, etc. Uh, similar then with movies, it's again a, a fairly sort of straightforward approach. You've got featured, you've got your top rentals, your new releases, and that is actually it on those. So that's the um, Android market. Just going back, we've got things like um, email applications, all fairly straightforward. I was just playing around with this earlier on. Um, you've got the keyboard, of course, as we sort of talked about earlier on, has the same kind of function here. You can actually download other keyboards that you might find work better for you um, from the Android market. I'm just playing around with this. As I said, you've got various different functions in terms of saving the draft, sending it, trashing it, etc. Discard this message. Okay. All right, let's just go back here. This MyZine app is something that comes specifically with um, the Asus tablets. I won't go too much into that. A couple of other things we've got here, Polaris Office, which I'll go into in a separate, uh, separate video. And some other apps, again, from Asus, which is my library. Uh, which is where you have an ebook kind of reading application. MyNet, which is uh, where you have the opportunity to um, play media files from your PC on the tablet or play files from your tablet directly onto your DNA, DLNA um, TV. So that's kind of streaming between different devices if they have the right setup. You've got a MyCloud app, which covers things like cloud storage for your, your files. Um, there's also within that a desktop, my desktop app, which gives you access to your kind of PC. You have to put a file onto that PC so you can access, uh, uh, access it directly from your tablet. Um, and similarly, a thing called a at Vibe, which is a kind of music app for uh, the Asus tablet. Um, also, you've got mapping applications, which we can look at in a separate one. File manager I've talked about. And then you've got your settings, which is all your kind of settings for... Uh, your tablet and this is all fairly standard it covers things like sound screen location security applications uh, accessibility all that sort of stuff won't go into too much detail again on that but it gives you a bit of a feel um, actually with this uh, asus tablet you, we also uh, get the tegra zone app which helps you find tegra 3 optimized um, games and what's quite uh, good about this i'm going to show you a couple of games on this uh, tablet because it's quite unique having the Tegra 3 uh, processor because it really allows you to play some graphically complex games. Um, now this won't show perfectly on this uh, video because of course the uh, you've seen quite a bit of flicker based on the, the way that the, the uh, camera is recording this but at least it'll give you a bit of a feel. This is um, just an, a game which is uh, a kind of a water game but you can see the kind of level of detail that you have on the uh, the water surface, the splashes, etc., that you get with this, um, but it gives you a bit of a feel for what you've got going on here. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I think this is probably better saved for a separate video. So that's it for uh, a kind of overview of uh, Android Honeycomb on the Asus tablet, uh, the Transformer Prime. This tablet is actually due very, very quickly for an upgrade to Android Ice Cream Sandwich, which we'll be updating and giving you some videos on that very soon. That's it from whattabletpc.com today. Visit uh, the site if you want to find out some more information on this tablet and Android Honeycomb.